So the thing about SFI is that it's grassroots, it's bottom up. Um, it tends to work on messy problems and turn them in things that are maybe in the sort of more conceptual or philosophical realm and turn them into things that can be ma you know mathematically addressed. But and it does that with incredible rigor. And other other this is unique to SFI in a way. I mean that sort of comfort with these messy problems and working to make them rigorous and you know amenable to science. But at the same time, it's open-minded, and so it embraces a variety of styles and uh, not just science styles, but you know high standards in art in the community. Um, always looking for new ways of thinking. You know, I love the fact that we have like all of human knowledge in our pocket now with the iPhone. And um, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of negative uh, negative um, things about that, right? We're all glued to our phones, but that cumulative cultural knowledge and everyone having access to it in principle seems to me huge. And then on top of that, having a curious mindset. Those would be the things that I would say are totally essential to thriving. That's awesome. I think that's right. I mean, knowledge is the gift that keeps on giving. Knowledge is what would allow us to rebuild everything if it disappeared tomorrow. And uh, also, I think that knowledge can take the form of ethical knowledge. So as we talked about on the panel, and, and I'm sort of obsessed with, uh, we kind of know that humans are capable of doing really disturbing things, almost any of us, put in the wrong circumstances. And so we ought to prioritize before almost everything else making sure that we don't find ourselves in those predicaments that cause us to do incredibly destructive things that we're capable of doing. And I think Interplanetary gets that discussion going. And I also like it because it's very grassroots, it's very bottom up. And one of the things we didn't get to talk about in the panel is, um, is whether as a, like, globally we should have a conversation, a kind of town halls around the world about um, what, you know, about how to, how to address these issues of social engineering. Uh, creative solutions to social engineering, the, um, you know, whether we should be doing it, what kinds of data we should be using, and in a way that's not just um, to make people happy or make them feel involved, but actually because there's a lot of data now coming out that says crowdsourcing, the wisdom of crowds, that's the way you find the cool new ideas. It's actually in the collective. And, it's, and so, you know, we can think that it's going to come from scientists or, um, you know, highly educated policymakers, but we need to be pluralistic, I think and really embrace that community discussion because I think that's where we're going to find the hidden stuff. I would just plus one everything Jessica said. Um, for me, as a non-scientist and a fan of what happens at the Santa Fe Institute, I think what's so great about this is it represents not only the idiosyncrasy of the approach that SFI represents, of bringing people together from different disciplinary backgrounds, asking about the most fundamental questions in the universe, but also about really interesting, practical, tangible questions. But then it does it in a way that is less cloistered than almost any academic enterprise that I've ever witnessed. So you both have folks approaching knowledge in an interesting and novel way, and also doing it with a respect for the fact that there needs to be engagement with everyday people, with artists, with crazy people, with random craftspeople who live in Santa Fe. And, you know, part of what needs to happen, part of what draws me to this stuff as a musician originally, is that what we really want is for popular culture to be scientific culture. And we don't want there to be this sort of, you know, priest class of scientists and then everyone else who's mystified by what they do. We want everyone to be a scientist. And it's only then that we can collectively make the best of our capabilities.